everybody, Tom Webster, Cowboy Bow Fishing. So, just finished, got me a brand new tumbler from Wild Gear here, the American red, white, and blue. Getting a little energy, long day. So, anyways, let me fix the camera here. So, I finally was able to get out and shoot some big old mirrors, which kind of what I advertise. But I wanted to take a little, uh, a minute and kind of describe we got more than this mirror carp out here you know besides the commons and the mirrors we actually have what we call a leather carp so jump up here on the on my deck and we'll do a little uh identification and so if you're out here kind of understand as far as i'm aware according to the baa we do not have a leather carp record so that being said I might have a couple in here that could qualify. I'm not going to weigh them tonight, but for future reference, for anybody who's come to Wyoming, there is a record out there ready to be broken. So anyways, let's go check right here. So I got some big old slabs here, some big old fat ladies. So some of these pushing, I think last one, the big one I weighed, she was 25, 26. You know, I know where the giant 50 pounder I'm chasing, which she's in there but so anyways we all know right here the common pesky common carp and then we have what's classified here as like you see right here is the mirror compared to the common so just between the two the mirror carp and the common are actually a genetic hybrid between the two these are the exact same fish the only difference was breeders selected these because uh no scales easier to clean because it's easier to fillet this than get rid of all these scales right so those are these two fish exact same species uh just caught the mirror in the common which they're just a sub the mirror is just a subspecies but it's the exact same exact same species just different genetics so we're gonna get into what you know identification of a leather carp which technically this one right here let's get a better look it's classified as a leather as well as this big old fat oh right here this big old fat female as well as this one right here so the difference is according to all the research i've done the mirror carp actually as its whole i mean the leather carp is a whole distinct subspecies out of the common in the mirror so to identify your leather carp uh, it's either going to have like no scales pretty much like this one right here besides some of them do have the ridge of scales along their back and then around their tail so what you can kind of see this one right here so ideally the perfect trophy leather carp is no scales more like this big this big fatty right here so this one right here so as you can see marginal scales a little bit around their tail and around their anal dorsage and then there should be some scales that go along the top but technically you want to see this right here no scales for a true trophy leather carp so right now i'm getting kind of slimed we do have three distinct species right here on the deck of my boat which we offer here so anyways i hope that was informational for you Free people out there that like to chase the mirror carp as much as I do. I mean, we got some fatties, as you can see. That's what I like to go chase. Plus, we also have three distinct species in one of our lakes. So, if you want to come out here, maybe smash that record for the BA record for that leather carp. I mean, that's there. We have the youth and state record, and there's a world record. So, there's three records right there. If you're a kid, you can smash them all in one time. So. I'm going to continue dumping these, cleaning up my boat. It's an amazing day. Um, besides the wind, if it wasn't for the wind, another shooter could have had way more fish. So I'm going to get back to it. 
drink my energy drink here, which if you guys haven't, go get yourself one of these. You know, the Wild Gear tumbler. They come in one looks like a big old red Solo cup. I have several of each. They come in multiple different colors. Plus, they're made right here in my home state of Wyoming, and I am not sponsored by these guys. I just love their products. They're very for they are very affordable, and they hold up. So my next step is I'm gonna get get one of their coolers. But right now, their drinkware staple in my kitchen. So, anyways, hope you have a good night, and I'm gonna continue cleaning up these fish right here. And I will catch you on the water. So have a safe night, and see you on hopefully come out here to Wyoming. It's beautiful right now, ideal ideal weather. So have a good night, and I'm gonna continue cleaning up my mess.